Hey guys, in the previous part of this tutorial we built the basic to-do application with the possibility to add and delete tasks, as well as setting them to done. I will add a link up in the corner if you haven't completed part 1 yet. In this part we will make it possible to add the title of the task using htmx. So we can begin by opening up the code editor and then go to the todo.html file. I need to do some changes here. Okay, first can I take this and move it into here. So I have the form for setting it to done just inside here. Now I can close that form, remove this tag down here and fix the indentation. And then instead of uh, replacing this it should go to closest article and the same with the deleting down here should go to article so it finds this element and removes it. So then I can set this to done just check that it's still working. Okay I got the htmx target error and that's because I had a typo here so it's supposed to be closest article. So if I refresh now and click done you'll see that this task is set to done. Great, and then next I want to make it possible to click this and replace the title with the input field for editing the title. So if I go back here, then we want to fix this paragraph here. Just set this to a separate line to make it as clean as possible. And then below the clause we can say hx get slash edit slash and then the to do dot id. So when we click this we want to replace it with what we get from this URL. Ajax target is this, which is this paragraph element. And what we want to do is to swap it out. So ajax-swap outer HTML and save. So if I try this now, just refresh, click it, I'll get an error because this URL doesn't exist yet. So that is the next to do. So if I go back to views.py, then I can copy this decorator, just paste it here. And here I want to allow both get and post, because we want to get the form from here, but we also want to post the information. And def edit to do, pass in the request parameter and then the primary key. Then we can get the to do from the database by doing the same as down here. Now we can check if the request method is posed and we know that the form has been submitted. And then we can say to do dot title equals request dot post dot get. Now we get the title from the form. I can default to empty and I can just say to do dot save. And when that's done we want to return the same as down here like when we add a new to-do. And if it's not a post request, then we can just say it like this, but we want to insert something called edit.html, which is the next task we're going to do. So inside the partials, we can create a new file called edit.html. This is just a simple form. So form, and then when we submit this, ajax post, slash edit, and then the same URL to do dot id and then the target should be the closest article ajax target closest article and we want to swap out the outer html and just want to set clause for this to flex so we have a button next to the input field we can close this form element and then in here is the input class flex one so it takes up most of the uh, most of the div margin right can be set to four px six so we get some spacing inside and set the text to extra small text color to be gray 900 and we can remove the border from the input field. The type can be set to text and the name is title and the value for this is to do dot title. And we want to autofocus this when it's created. So we add autofocus and then below here we add a button, button class text sky 600 and when you hover it text sky 900 
save. So you can close the button and now the form or, LM, uh, or the template for this is done. Next step before we can test this is to add, is to add this to the urls.py file. So here we need to import the edit to do. Now we can copy one of these, replace the name and then the function to use or the view and say edit there. So now we can save this, go back and refresh. So now it was replaced with the input field and we have a save button there changed and then we submit it and then it was replaced here so if i refresh now it says one more changed so now we have the possibility to edit the tasks here as well great